We are operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. Hello and welcome to this instructional video from the Keyforge Online Team Events on how to navigate our Discord server. So, this is just going to be a nice little video where I go through the different features that we have within Discord at this moment in time and we'll update it as we go along. So, when you first come into the Discord, you'll be met by the welcome screen. This is where everybody comes in. As you can see here, we've got the current list of people that come through here. And you come in here and it basically means that if you're already part of a team and we're aware of part of a team, we can find you straight away and assign you the role that I'll get into a little bit later on. Going a bit further down, we've got the help from future self. This is where if anyone has any ideas, if we have ideas that we want to workshop with the community, it can all be put in here. If you have any suggestions, any constructive criticism, anything that you want to let us know, you can message us directly or you can put it in here and it can be discussed going on from there. Following that, we have announcements. This is where we'll put anything that really everybody needs to know. The last one there was the top eight, uh, because generally we, as it gets a bit, uh, when we first get started, it's a bit hectic, and as we get towards the end, the amount of announcements will go down. Uh, you don't need to know about team score updates. That's ours. Play the round. Play the round isn't is an underutilized aspect of Kyoto. Whereas if a player does an amazing, has an amazing game and wants to represent that, they can send us a recording of that game and we will cut a part of that game into a video and display that for the community. So if you have an amazing game and you want, it to, you want to share it, share it yourself or ask us and we can make a small video where we do that. We have got them on the YouTube, so please feel free to go back and have a look at those. Community promotion, this is where members of the community and ourselves will come in here and we'll promote ourselves. So you can see we've got Marvus doing his dinos. If we go a little bit further back, we've got Grobna. Uh, I have a test of Keyfoggers. We've got uh, the amazing Aurora uh, going on from there. Uh, moving down, we've got the rules. Every player should be aware of the new rules. As of Cote 6, we have a strict set of rules that we brought in that lets people know what we're doing, how we're doing it, and what is expected of each of our players. Points of contact is basically just where you come in and it just lets you know oh, this is, needs to be updated. This will be so. What I'll do is when the deck list for each rat for each cote come out, I will put them in here and people can come and find them in here. But for now, I need to sort that one out. Results reporting basically, this will be where the link is to go through result reporting. Video is going to be coming out on that next on how to report results. Any issues, anything you need to let us know, you can always re-report the results. We'll always use the most up-to-date results. But any issues, please tag us in here. And that, and that is an outright, if you tag any of the admins, I'll use the at admin, which I'll go through below on how to tag. This will allow you to basically find any admin. And if you have a rules question, if you have an issue with your game, or if you just want to know if something you're doing is correct, Feel free to ask, that is what we are here for. Bad pennies looking for teams. This is where players who wish to find teams or teams that need one or two more people can come in here and advertise and they can find players to fill out the gaps. This is a good way for players to meet new people, to communicate and to just all around have some, uh, have some fun and, uh, and expand their view of the community. Easy enough, deck discussion and verification. As said on there, basically, when you get to the top cut of Kyoto, you have to verify your deck, and I'll drop the link in there when you can. But if you have a deck you wish to discuss, or if you have an issue with a deck, put it in there. Jobs are good. 
moving on to one of the most important ones is team registration this is where teams can put their members in there in the channel and myself and the other admins can check if they have been assigned the particular roles for example we have roger schrubber uh, roger schrubber of the no kanga fans in austria one uh he has put it in here and then if i just click on his name we'll see that he has been assigned the role as have both of his members that role is very important because as i was saying a few minutes ago if you use the at button and type admin you can select the red role which will tag every admin in that post but once pairings go up if you are paired against no kanga fans in austria one you could then at type the words no scroll I think, oh, I would. let's try it for one let's go with london urchins so london urchins boom if you tag london urchins you'll see they have two teams you select the team that you want and then when you release that message all three members of that team will be alerted that they have a message in discord for their team this is a way that makes it cleaner and easier for teams to know what's going on because rather than having to go through hundreds of messages or look for posts on facebook and try to find what's going on in the conversation any time a team is tagged in a post on on the discord it will highlight that message for them so they can scroll through up scroll down and they can find each message that relates to their team and find out exactly what's going on it also makes it easier for us in the search bar because when we do it we can you we can look go for searches for users we can search teams if there's an issue between two teams it means that we can immediately search what's going on and immediately find it it makes it a lot easier for admins and teams to communicate and find each other which is why we which is why when you register we ask for your discords so that myself and other admins can set you up with these roles and we've been fairly quick in doing it this time we had them all done before the round one started the last set well second to last section the last set i'll save it for last we have the voice chat nobody really uses it this is just where people if they want to play can jump in the voice chat and use it to communicate with each other during the game like you would at a, in a a real life event you'd sit across from your opponent and you'd chat you'd have a lot you have a laugh i'd hope and you could communicate with your opponent and it it is a part of the game so if you wanted to you could sit at these voice tables and you could just have the same sort of experience just not face to face the last one is rounds for this event we've separated everybody into groups so we have each of the groups which have the people are aware of and then we have top cut for other events there'll be rounds or there'll be group groupings and this is where you'll go to organize your games you jump in here and if there's an issue you tap you can go in here and basically this is so if once you know what round it is once you know what uh what group you're in you go to here and this is where the majority of your conversation will go ahead this means that everything is condensed into one place making it easier for us to know that if there's an issue in say group logos it will be contained within the teams of group logos same with group shadows and same with the rounds if there's an issue around one then we can look for it in the channel for round one we don't expect to find issues from round one in round six so if as long as you keep it to the uh, to the relevant channels it makes it easy for admins it makes it easy for yourself to find previous information to find what's going on because although this is a fun event people do take it competitively people want to have fun and they want to win so we try to make it as organized as possible if you have any issues if you have any questions or if you want to get in the discard discord and you're not already in i'll put a link at the bottom of this video or send us a message on the kyote facebook and we'll get you in onto, into the discord uh thanks for joining me if you have any questions please do feel free to contact us that is what we're here for to make sure you have as much fun as possible